how is it going? How are you liking the community all hands so far? I want to see the comments in the chat. Good? Bad? What's your, your favorite talk so far? Well, um, in this session right now, we're going to be talking uh, about what, what's the latest and greatest on Docker extensions, what changes had happened uh, over the last months. And I'm joined by my colleague, uh, Benjamin Randfond. Uh, hi, Benjamin. Hello, Alba. How much did I destroy your name? No, don't worry. It was perfect. <laughs> what a diplomacy here. Well, so uh, Ben, uh, he is uh, one of the one of the engineers that uh, works in the in the the extensions team, and I am realizing I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Alba Rosa. I'm Alba, and I work uh, at Docker. I'm I'm in the part of the DevRel team. And um, I think it's um, a nice way of, of starting this presentation and this update would be uh, to explaining, uh, well, first of all, a little sentence of uh, what Docker extensions are, if, if perhaps you're not familiar with Docker extensions. So Docker extensions, um, they basically let you uh, use third party tools within Docker desktop to extend its, its functionality. Uh, you can basically connect your favorite development tools to your application uh, development and deployment workflows. So it basically lets you um, augment Docker Desktop with debugging, testing, security, and networking functionalities, and build uh, custom add-ons using the extensions SDK. But um, I think we're going to talk about all the latest uh, in terms of like features and things that uh, have happened in a bit. Ben is going to be in charge of that. By now, I'm just going to start with Docker extensions and Hacktoberfest. That's one of the biggest things that, that happened lately. Um, I think the, the, the headline here for me would be that uh, Hacktoberfest was, was a great deal for us. Uh, thanks to Hacktoberfest, we, we got uh, 39 extensions and eight new ideas or proof of concepts that uh, can potentially evolve into more developed and, and, and finalized extensions. Um, it, it meant a 54% increase in terms of, of installs of adoption. So uh, that was very, very positive. Uh, let's also remind ourselves that Docker extensions was launched a few months ago. So it's not that it's uh, something that has been there for a while, not at all. So it was, I think it was like an, a nice push one of the motivations we had to um, to um, actually embrace Hacktoberfest and, and decided to move forward with that was because um, ever since we launched Docker extensions, there was a lot of community uh, conversations, community requests asking us to uh, implement certain extensions. So that's why we decided to actually pass the microphone on to them and ask them like, hey, what do you really want here? And, um, and you know, we offered you folks a space where you could actually um, show us what you had in mind and, and start coding yourselves a little bit on that. Um, all over the month of, um, all over October, we had several meetups spread all around the world. Um, we, we had, I think, around between 15 and 20 because some of them were before and some of them were after so it's a little bit difficult to count here but yeah we had meetups in 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 a lot of cities i don't know i i we had colleagues also speaking like for instance i don't know in madrid in london so it was it was really nice and we had a landing page and we we got around 10,000 10, visitors to that landing page so that was also something that i would like to point out some numbers here right but of course this wouldn't have been uh great without our top contributors our top contributors um these are just like uh, our top 15 contributors uh in the yeah eduardo lalit sahil nitish mohammed ali anik harsh uh, gangandeep leroy marcelo risabad jijan and jason thank you so much for your for your uh, inputs here We've had uh, contributors for all of, from all over the world. We've had contributors from Asia, from Asia. We have contributors from Europe, America. So uh, thank you so much for, for these contributions. Um, these top contributors, uh, spoiler alert, we got they got that uh, prize that you see over there. It's like a macro keyboard with these customized caps. I think it's pretty cool. Once you receive it, please you know let us know how how swift is the experience of using Docker with it. 
but um, that's the good news. But I also have a little bit more of good news for those of you that uh, are still asking us like, hey, I'm, am I late for the party? I, I missed Hacktoberfest. Can I still uh, join um, or participate in any in any way with uh, Docker extensions? I have some ideas that I would like to share with, with the Docker extensions team. The answer is yes, you can actually sub still submit your ideas. Um, ben is going to tell you a little bit more in a bit about um, this extension ideas repo that we've launched, but that's actually the way where you could actually uh, submit your contributions and the best contributions are actually going to get uh, swag. For instance, this, this, um, this uh, keyboards that you just saw, we have a few left and we are willing, of course, to share it with the best in class contributions. And uh, I'm going to pass on the baton from here on to Ben. And uh, he's going to be explaining what, uh, what more con uh, community news for uh, Docker extensions we have. Ben, all yours. OK, thank you, Alma. Well, let's start with the marketplace first. As you can see here, we have added the number of installs on each extension card and also an option to sort by most installed. This allows you to see the most popular extensions on the marketplace. Lately, one of our focus was to improve the experience for extension builders. So we have added the build tab here. From there, you can copy the Docker command to create a new extension, then just copy it, paste it in a terminal and start build your extension. We have also included resources the tutorial first, the documentation link, and link also to the publish form to publish your extension when you're ready to, to share it publicly. We have also added the community list of extensions curated by Collabnix, and the Docker community forum where you can ask any question. In the future, we will add new content uh, in this tab. Also, builders were asking us for a way to share their extensions quickly when not published on the marketplace. So we've added this share button available on unpublished extensions. And when once you have pushed an image and a tag on Docker Hub, you can click on the button and it will copy the URL into the, your clipboard. Then what you can do is to paste it in a terminal like this and it will directly open the detail page of this extension, even if it's not available in the marketplace. And from here, you can install it. There you go. The extension is here and it works perfectly. Finally, if you're not ready yet to build your own extension or want to share ideas, we have created a new GitHub repository, the extension ideas repository. From here, you can find all the extension IDs the community had or have. You can upvote for those that you think are the most interesting one. For example, the community's dashboard here, you can upvote it. And you can also submit your IDs if you want to just share an ID or if you are seeking feedback for the one you have already think, uh, thought about and you plan to build. And uh, this is it for me. I hope you will have a great time at this Docker community of heads. And uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.